टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू वर्क विथ ए कस्टम कैरेक्टर हुईच कैन बी रिक्ड इन ब्लेंडर उथ फेस इट एंड ए आर पी द ऑटो रिक प्रो हियर वी कैन सी ए कस्टम मॉडल इन ब्लेंडर विच विच इज रिक्ड विथ ऑटो रिक प्रो एंड फेस इट हियर यू कैन सी द ऑटो रिक प्रो ऑन द राइट साइड एंड द बॉडी इज रिक्ड विथ ऑटो रिक प्रो एंड हियर यू कैन सी द फेस इट पार्ट एंड बोथ द रिक्स द फेस इट एंड ए आर पी आर जयंट सो दैट दे फॉर्म वन होल रिक हियर यू कैन सी द फेस इट रिक इज वर्किंग यू कैन सी डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द फेस इट रिक हाउ इट्स वर्किंग ऑन द मॉडल Uh, i am just clearing the transforms and uh, now we shall see uh, how the auto rig pro body rig works we can see the whole uh, body is rigged with uh, one rig which is a joint rig uh, of auto rig pro body rig and face it face rig here the whole rig is uh, moving and it's just one whole rig you can refer to other videos uh, for how to join the face it rig and the auto rig pro rig here uh, we will next uh, see how to export this model from blender to unreal engine we will just uh, select the body uh, of the model you can select it from the viewport but i am selecting from the outliner uh, and we have to shift select the body rig and then go to auto rig pro export auto rig pro fbx export i am exporting as an fbx uh, you can give any name uh, of the model of the 3d model which you are using or oh, the uh, selection is gone so uh, i have to select once again i am selecting the body parts with shift select i am selecting the rig and then going to the auto rig pro uh, export there are many settings you have to uh, select the unreal engine one and the humanoid <coughs> and in the uh, rig part first is the rig part you have to uh, select the selected objects only and then this ue part and in the animations just uh, leave as it is and in the miscellaneous part you have to uh, click on the apply modifiers uh, you have to deselect it and then export now we will go to the unreal engine where i have loaded a level basic level and here i am creating a new folder so that uh, i can export uh, import the uh, model from blender which i have exported uh, in my files here i am going to uh, import the file that is exported from blender and here you have to uh, see some settings like the skeleton we have to uh, select the ue5 mannequin set uh, skeleton there is one ue4 mannequin also you have to select the ue5 mannequin and select import animations then another one is import morph targets the blend shapes or the ar kit shape keys are called morph targets in unreal engine and then uh, you have to uh, check import bone tracks also and 
वी आर रेडी टू गो फॉर द इम्पोर्ट जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इम्पोर्ट एंड इट विल टेक सम टाइम लिटिल बिट टाइम and now it is uh, exported uh, the model is imported so you can see the skeletal mesh i am clicking the skeletal mesh and you can see the blend shapes here all the blend shapes are uh, there this is the uh, eye blink eye blink left i am uh, let's uh, see closer so the camera is uh, in high speed so let's uh, decrease the speed of the camera and uh, now you can see the left eye is closed uh, due to the eye blink left when i'm increasing the right one it is uh, showing uh, both the eyes are unticked so just if you tick it will be in the default pose this is the jaw open and this is the brow eyebrows you can check all of them and now basically we are going to uh, retarget some body animations so that uh, we can give some body animations to the uh, 3d model here this is one i have downloaded from mixamo with skin and i am going to retarget this animation to the 3d model which uh, i have exported from blender and imported to ue so here we have to select the skeletal mesh of the 3d model which we are trying to retarget and uh, here i am selecting the animation and it's showing you can see here uh, the clippings are there uh, some clippings uh, which we can fix with uh, layered control rig in uh, the sequencer so now we will export the animations you can uh, export it to anywhere you like i am just exporting it to the animations folder and we got the animation here uh, which is the retargeted animation from the mixamo skeleton to uh, our uh, custom 3d model here you can see the hands clipping which we will uh, we can fix uh, with layered control rig here i have uh, put the 3d model in the viewport uh, where uh, which i have uh, dragged from the skeletal mesh in the content browser here now i have created a sequencer also uh, and i am putting the 3d model here in the sequencer now we have to create an animation blueprint now you have to select the uh, ue5 mannequin skeleton and then you have to create because we have uh, selected we have created the ue5 mannequin skeleton for the 3d model so we have to select that skeleton and create an animation blueprint here in the animation blueprint you can give any name the 3d model you are using just use the name of the 3d model and create an animation blueprint you will get this uh, graph the anim graph anim graph uh, you have to uh, first uh, type in live link pose now if you do not have the live link plugin uh, enabled you will not get this so we have to go to the plugins folder and enable the live link plugin live link plugin and the Uh, live link face importer you can type live link face importer or you can search in the list below you will get that just uh, tick that and another uh, plugin we will need that will be the ar kit uh, just type ar kit and you will get the apple ar kit and apple ar kit uh, face support now you have to restart just uh, hit restart and uh, after restart we are getting uh, when we type live link pose we will get uh, the live link pose 
just click on live link post and you will get this and in the uh, event graph we will have to create another one which is called the evaluate live link frame just type evaluate live link frame and you will get this so now we have to select our iphone and uh, make sure that the wi-fi is same for the pc and the iphone and you will uh, get the iphone name here you have to select that iphone you if you have given any name to the iphone that name will appear and you have to select that here also in the event graph the same thing needs to be done you have to select the iphone and uh, we have to play in editor which will be uh, in simulation and you will see something like this so the iphone is connected to the uh, pc now and uh, but still it's not work it will not be working because we have to uh, do some more settings also so first thing is that uh, you have to when you click on the skeletal mesh in the viewport in the details section on the right side you will get uh, the animation mode which will be use animation blueprint and the anim class will be the blueprint animation blueprint which you have created and another uh, settings needs to be done which will be the update animation in the editor just type it in the search bar and you will get update animation in the editor which you have to uh, check as true and then we are ready to go for uh, recording the live link uh, face animations which you can see here in my uh, viewport so for recording the animations we will go to the record button and we will press record which will start the recording in three seconds so now you can see uh, it's recording my face motions from the iphone so it's uh, recorded and we can see a track there which we play and we get the animation which we have created by live link face in the iphone you can play this and then we can also bake this sequence bake this animation so that uh, whenever uh, we want we can get it from the animation library you can uh, select the uh, folder which you want and you have to give a name to the sequence so that you can find it easily from the animation library so here i am uh, giving a name here and uh, just putting it in the animation library exporting it so an animation sequence is created here now here we can see uh, that when we play the animation is playing and if we want to delete it we can delete it and we can uh, add the animation from the add menu and we will get that from the animation library right now i am trying to uh, put some body animations to it and going to the animation uh, library and we are giving the sitting and talking animation that i retargeted and uh, here you can see uh, that the 3d model is playing the face animations from live link and the body animations together it's working properly but actually the uh, pose is not correct uh, so i am trying to put uh, pull the chair but actually uh, the sitting animation which was uh, in the original animation it's not showing like that so we can fix that by uh, creating a layered control rig and then fixing it in the control rig however now 
actually the setting animation is not properly uh, showing so we are creating a layered control rig and selecting the mannequin control rig body control rig so you can see that below a control rig has been created with uh, a layer and here we can see that the body animation is working i have deleted the uh, sequence that was recorded and here i am putting the animation sequence from the animation library which is uh, the mannequin skeleton sequence the live link sequence which uh, we baked you can see the face moving and also the body animation working here so like this we can uh, create a model in the blender and we can uh, import the model in unreal engine and we can uh, fix any problems with the layered control rig too so this was all for the video thanks for watching